Hello, my name is Karen Darty, and I'm your instructor for AHS 115 Medical Terminology. I'll try to record a short lecture for each of the folders that you have in your Blackboard Ultra course, and you probably realize each of those um, folders corresponds to one chapter in your e-text. I have a copy here with me of the paperback version of Essentials of, this is hard to do, Essentials of Medical Language, but you have the e-text. Uh, we are using, for the first time in this course, a McGraw-Hill product called Course Connect, and I chose that for several reasons. First, you are not required to buy an expensive textbook because the text is included in your tuition along with the learning management system or platform that allows you um, a lot of materials, including uh, the text of the book. It includes um, the ability for me to assign review exercises, and I've put quite a few of those in there for each chapter. It allows you to take your quizzes or assessments within um, the Connect system. And those will be 25 questions, two points a piece, piece, 50 points each week for the material we covered in that chapter. It's important that you realize that completing the review exercises and questions should allow you to attain a perfect or near perfect score, she said with meaning, on the quiz. Because I don't believe in testing people on things they haven't had a chance to practice. So if you practice your review questions, and you can do them as many times as you like, and you will get feedback on the correct answers, then when it comes time to press the take the quiz button, you'll have 45 minutes and you shouldn't see anything, any material that you haven't already had a look at. At least that's my intention. Now I need to give you a little disclaimer, especially for those of you who've already been working with original Blackboard at uh, one of the KCTCS schools. This course is being presented in the new and improved Blackboard Ultra. So you may find when you go into your course that some of the controls uh, have been streamlined and may look unfamiliar. It's a learning process for all of us, including the instructor. I've been wrestling with it for a few weeks, and now that I'm used to it, I really like it. It just took me a while to become accustomed to a slightly different format, but I think in the long run, we're all going to be happy with it. The other thing is using the Connect system to interface with Blackboard so that when you open your course, you automatically have access to all the things that I've put in your folder from Connect. That's supposed to work smoothly, seamlessly, but we all know technology sometimes doesn't behave in exactly the way we hoped. Especially this first week, make sure that you give yourself plenty of advance time to complete the work, because if there are technical glitches, we can get them ironed out, but at a quarter to midnight on Sunday is probably not the time to start realizing that your tech doesn't work. So don't panic if you can't get into what you need to get into. I will try to help you. More likely, I'll find someone a lot smarter than me about technology uh, who will be able to help you. But you, you shouldn't feel uh, frightened or upset if initially there are some glitches to be worked out. I promised that in the first um, video that I would tell you, if you've read the discussion board, a little bit about mnemonics. I should write that word down. Let me do that here. I've got a mini whiteboard. So I will write the word. It's got a silent M at the beginning and a non-silent M partway through. I have trouble holding the board up, so there it is. The word is mnemonic, and it means a memory device. How do we get such a weird word? We're going to get a lot of weird words in this course. And it's named for the Greek goddess of memory and learning, who was also the mother of the muses, if you're a mythology buff. And that her name was, depending on which language you hear it pronounced in, Mimosine, Mimosine, but it's from the Greek. Her name was Greek. And since she was the goddess of memory, mnemonics are named for her because they're ways to help us remember things. 
Now you think, I don't know what, I've never used a mnemonic, but I'll bet you have. If I ask you how many days are in the month of September, I bet everyone would answer very quickly, 30. If you learned it in school from a little rhyme, you know that rhyme starts, 30 days hath September. However, some of you might be holding up your hand and counting on your knuckles starting January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and you would come up with the right number of dates that, that days in a month that way. There are tons of mnemonics, and healthcare in particular has, has many, many. Some of them are not um, even PG rated, definitely are. Um, and, but the best mnemonics are often the ones that you make for yourself. I'll give you an example. Uh, in the gated community where I am right now, we have to uh, tell someone who's coming to make a delivery or to work on our house, we have to give them a temporary code to raise the gate. And I, it's a random set of numbers generated by a computer. And I had trouble remembering that. If you want to come visit me, it'd be quite a drive. But the code is 91543 and I could not remember it. How did I finally do it? Well, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is a song that a lot of mnemonics will fit to, so mine went something like this. 91543 is the gift. It will cause the gate to lift, and I haven't forgotten it since. So if you're having trouble remembering something here in medical terminology or in your healthcare careers, if that's the way you're going, you can probably look up a mnemonic, uh, or the best ones are the ones you make yourself. So mnemonics is a really good tool to use. I hope some of you are listing in that first discussion board some good ideas of your own about how to master a lot of material. I'm going to end this recording right here, but uh, I will pick up with a recording about the information in Chapter 1. A final note, this will be the only week where you have two 50-point opportunities. If you've opened the Start Here folder, and I hope you have, uh, in your Blackboard shell, then you will find a list of items including a first week's task checklist. At the bottom of that, there is a rubric to show you exactly how you earn 50 points for just basically getting started in the class. Nothing to do with the material in the medical terminology text. So 50 points for completing that, but also this first week you will be completing uh, the 50-point quiz that goes along with Chapter 1. So I'll see you shortly as I attempt to record a video with some important ideas from Chapter 1. Thanks for coming aboard.